Don't so listen to him. Don't you put your hands up? And if I say no, you're gonna get arrested. You gonna shoot me? Arrested. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You, you are in my house and you are trespassing me. It's very bad. Very bad. Karma. You're gonna go to jail for reason. Please remove the cuffs so I can get in the car. Dealing with entitled people can be a very frustrating experience. For police officers, it's an everyday occurrence and can lead to potentially life-threatening situations. On today's episode, you're going to see what happens when people overstay their welcome and it's up to law enforcement to do something about it. Squatting at a motel Our first case takes us to Elkton, Maryland, where on April 30th, 2023, police officers were called to a motel by management after a guest refused to exit the property after the 11 a.m. checkout time. They made it clear that they wanted the man permanently trespassed from the property. He claimed he was still renting the room, so he certainly wasn't trespassing. Something had to give, and it was up to the officers to sort it out. Let's see how they got to the bottom of it. What's up, buddy? How you doing? You all right? You good? Uh, all right. I don't know. What, what, what do you uh, consider all right, man? Did, did you, were you removed from a room recently? Not at all. Why well, was all your stuff out here? Though he claimed he was still a guest, he couldn't tell the officers what room he was renting, and it made for a tense situation. Luckily for everyone involved, a motel employee joined the conversation and the officers were able to get a better understanding of what was going on. Do you know what year it is? Well, if you have a room, what's the room number that you have? We'll just wait for Why don't you fellas have a seat? Really? Please. I'm okay. Yeah, they're okay. Mm. I like your sea bag. Thanks. You're yeah. welcome. Oh, it's a nice bag, ain't it? It is. What's up, man? Step over here with me. Talk to me for a minute. Okay. What is going on with him? He was uh, put out of a uh, room here. When was checkout? Uh, 11 o'clock, but we actually put him out about one. Okay. And then so he is, he is not currently attending here at this no, hotel? No, he is not currently okay. And what would you like us to do with him? Would you like him off the property? Yes, sir. Okay. And he is not on uh, resident stores. Is he okay to come back at another day, or do you just want him permanently trespassed yeah. from the property? Yeah. Okay, well then in that case, if you do want him formally trespass, you've got to let him know that you do not want him back on the property. Okay. And he'll be told to leave at that point, okay? Okay. And if he refuses to leave at that point, he will then be locked up for trespassing, okay? Okay. Okay, so let him know that you, he's no longer resident. Sure. The suspect told the officers he wasn't going anywhere, and that he was prepared to fight to the death to stay. That's just about the stupidest thing you could ever say to a police officer, and he quickly found out. And if I say no? You're gonna get arrested. You gonna shoot me? Arrested. Really? You're gonna get arrested. Arrested? How's that? What if I fight to the death? Tooth and nail, you gonna shoot me? No, you're not. Oh, you got the. You're under arrest. Really? Uh, really? What am I doing wrong? Put him again. Put him again. Put him again. Come on. Go, squeeze the top. I'm out of breath, right? Step back up. I'm out of breath. Hands Stop. behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. My hands behind your back. Roll on your stomach. I go over Zarvik. Roll. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fellas, I have a heart condition. Be easy, please. Well, now you have a resistance charge. Oh. I, don't don't OP. I don't understand. I have a room. I don't understand what's going on. I have a room. After the arrest, the officers were shocked how much of a fight the crazy man gave the team of officers. When they arrived at the precinct, he had no fight left in him and he also refused to identify himself to the officers. I don't want him there. I don't know why he wanted to get there. Yeah, he... Where's your hood under the car? Uh, yeah, he... You sit on a bag, and then he's like... And then he's like... It might be mine. No, it's his from his hat. Here, hold this. And then he's like, I'm gonna, I'll fight to the death, and he takes a guitar, and he's gonna swing the guitar. So, Corporal grabs the guitar, 
and then we end up going hands on with him, all three of us, push him up against the door. He pushes me against the <laughs> pole, and then we ended up on the ground, rolling around. And we'll it's gonna be a good double leg. What's your name? What's your name, buddy? You can't leave until we have this done because we can't start the other processes until this is done. So. I'm not asking you anything. I just need your name. I'm not, I'm not interrogating you. The, the longer this takes, the longer you have to stay in custody, is what I'm saying. We can't do anything with a commissioner, which is who you need to see, until we have your identity. Eventually, he was identified as Robert, and he was charged with reckless endangerment, resisting arrest, disarming a law enforcement officer, three counts of first-degree assault, three counts of second-degree assault, and disorderly conduct. Up next, a former Illinois police officer forces law enforcement officials to deploy multiple tasers to stop him. Former officer, on July 22, 2023, in Ogle County, Illinois, sheriff's deputies were dispatched to the home of a woman who claimed her son had locked himself in the home and wouldn't come out even after she made multiple requests for him to leave. He was a former police officer who was filled with so much rage, he left the responding officers no choice but to resort to violence to remove him. If he didn't know what it felt like to be hit with a taser, he'd soon be introduced to it. Uh, man, I need you to come on out. I need you to come on out. Okay, you gotta come on out. No, you gotta, this isn't your house, you need to come on out. Mom doesn't want you here. She does not want you here, no. Okay? So if, that, if that's the case, you don't reside here, you need to leave, okay? We're trying to do this peacefully, okay? All okay. right? We're so, trying to work with you. So this is your mom's house, not yours, right? Yes. Correct. So we don't need a warrant because we have your mom's permission to come in the house. I'm going to try to get that dog Okay. Will it bite us? Okay. No, no, no. It doesn't mean it's your house if you have power of attorney. No. No, it doesn't work that way. He doesn't have power of attorney? No. Oh. And your mom said you don't have power of attorney anyways. No. You prove, prove it. Me, prove to me that you do. You're going to get three options, okay? All right, either you can leave, we can give you a ride somewhere, okay? Or we can get you, if you want help, we can get you help. If you need help, okay, we, we always have that option, all right? Otherwise, if you don't leave, mom doesn't want you here, you get arrested for trespassing, okay? All right? So we're trying to work with you, okay? So I kind of know your background a little bit. What's that? Huh? You don't reside here? You can't. You gotta leave. If the person that resides here tells you you don't want to leave here, okay? Okay. All right. We're trying to work with you. All right. In under a minute, it was clear the suspect had no intention of cooperating, and in less than three minutes, he was hit with multiple taser rounds and was laying on the floor. But the fight was far from over. Jamin, no, you're not Jamin. pushing me. I'm going to arrest you. Out. Hey, out. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Your you know, sister, you know, you know, you know. please stop. Yeah, okay. your taser. No, you, you broke my bar. Out. Jamin, your sister. Please 10-4. Please stop. Why are you fighting? What are you doing? Put your hands Why behind you your back. Why are you fighting? Why did you take Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back now. Please stop. Put your hands what behind you your back, Jamin. What are you doing? Put your, Put your hands behind, behind your back. Again again. What are you doing? Your you're mom doesn't arrest. want you here. You're under arrest. And then you just push me. So push your hands behind your back. Can't push it off, sir. You came in without a warrant. We don't need a warrant at your mom's house. Put your hands behind your back. We're trying to work with you. We're, prove it that it's my mom's house. Prove to me that it is. It's you not. Prove that it is in my mom's house. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back now. Not. You, you are in this house and you are trespassing in that it's very bad right now. now. Very bad karma! Okay, I am sorry. I'm sorry that's bad karma. Okay, calm down. Can we talk to you? No, it's not going to work that way. I'm asking you to get out. No, uh, we can't. We're here now. Please. I am asking you. Don't do it. Please to get out. Don't do it. Please, Jamin, your sister, I'm here. Put like, your hands behind your back now. something that I would only know. You and me. Put your hands behind your you back. Hunter Hankers. Adeline Williams. 
Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Stop. Tell me one thing about them that you know. Me and okay. them would only know, and you can't because they are not my brother and my mom. Okay, and so your sister. So who's your mom and you sister? Came in here and tease me. The officers were patient enough with them to hear him out even after the violent confrontation. Since trying to physically intimidate the officers failed miserably, he decided to take a new approach. He told the officers that he was only trying to follow the law and he expected them to as well. It led to a very bizarre scene where he was again hit with multiple taser shots as he tried to flee the scene. But even that didn't stop him. He fought with officers for several minutes on the front lawn of his mother's house. Jamie, if that's if that's it, okay. If, if that's what it is, then you then you can tell the judge in the morning. Where was your warrant for coming in? We don't need one because it's your mom's house. Yes, and, you said, Jamie. Okay. And okay. And you tell me that is this is not your mom's house, correct? But you have nothing in your hand right where, now to prove that it's your house. This is my, that, that What's is your my address? Mom. What's your legal address? My legal address? Yes, sir. I've got several properties. Okay. So the one that I have my address at is in Dixon. Okay. So Why that's your address there? in Dixon? Yes. Okay. Why aren't you going there? Because I'm here. At your mom's house? Yes. Okay. So you just turn, turn around. Let's all do it, man. Put that on your back. Put the no. I got your taser. I got your taser. Put the phone. Push your hip. Watch your arm. You, you understand? If you had my leg between your feet, fight through twisting it, right? It was in defense. No, it's not in defense. <laughs> it's not unlawful. We told you you're under arrest. You're under arrest. Get up now. Well, in your own words, you said you refused medical treatment. Now stand up. I refused medical treatment because I found mine. Okay, that doesn't matter. Stand up. Me knowing all those laws proves it. Get in the freaking car. You'll have your day in court then. Okay. Because you're just making it Stand worse up. every time you do an offense. Stand every up. Every time you do an offense, you're, you're resisting. Making it worse. Stand up. Stand up. I'm not resisting. Stand up. I'm not resisting. Stand up. Okay. Get now. up. Okay. Get up. I'm not resisting. Get up. Stand up. Then we're not resisting. Get up. Stand up. You get up. I'm gonna drive son if you don't get up. Stand. Up. The man, later identified as Jamin, was charged with six counts of battery against a law enforcement officer domestic battery, and criminal trespass. He was sentenced to and spent 64 days in jail. Our third case takes us to Miami Beach, where a hotel manager claimed that a couple was so out of control that they smashed a glass shower door and left blood all over the room. Couple In Miami Beach, Florida on March 9, 2023, law enforcement officers were called to a hotel after the manager placed a 911 call. He claimed that a man and woman had caused multiple disturbances in the building, and an inspection of the room revealed that they'd smashed the sliding glass shower door and that someone was injured because there was blood in the room. The responding officers had their hands full with this one. The manager explained that the male broke the sliding glass door and it was his blood that was all over the room. After getting the full story, the officers made it clear that he wasn't to talk to the man under any circumstances. As soon as he surfaced, he was to call 911 and the officers would come back to the scene and deal with him. That's exactly what happened. Back at 741 of your co-worker came already, one officer came for this couple. Okay, it was a woman with a guy. Actually, the woman took her stuff and left with the police officer, right? She coming back one hour later, the night the guy broke the glass. The guy or the girl? The guy. It was still in the, in the place and the girls left, right? With the police officer. The girls coming back like 40 minutes ago and the guy broke the, the glass of the shower. Blood everywhere. And now. Is he bleeding? He's not bleeding. He's not bleeding. I just saw him get out. He's taking 337-20 Street, 337-20 Street, unit 112. Call is advising of the group that's back near the garbage chute, focus 51. And the second thing is, uh, 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 the really quick explanation, the guy said, close the door and the, the, the glass door. It's not true. He have here, so it's not like it's not true. The biggest thing is you just want them out of here. Right? Yes. 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 Okay. So I need one because we're not going to kick them out. You guys, we're going to stay there for security purposes. You have a security? No. That's why he's. Uh, You're going to need a representative to go up there and fix it. I'm with you. Okay. Yes. So let's go up there. We're going to get her out. When he comes, 
You're not gonna talk to him. No, no, no. no. You're gonna call the police again, so we can come back and we have to get him. Out. What can I do? Is like you know. Oh, if she could take all the stuff. Yeah, and also we have like electronic. So I'm gonna yeah. exactly. I'm gonna no, no. I'm gonna drop the food. That's it. They get out. The female was surprised to see the officers, even though she was warned they were coming. She pleaded her case that they weren't disturbing anyone, but the officers were past believing that story. During her discussion with them, her boyfriend came back to the room, but the officers kept him separated. Hello. I'm coming back. How are you, ma'am? Good, how are you? Yes, sir. So, as I told you, before the cops come in, we need to leave the home. Please. Can yes. I get a refund on my room before I leave? That's something that's going to be done completely after. It has to be done now because it's I have no place to go. We're in Miami or from yeah. Buffalo. The shower fell out of the rack and it fell down, and so, that's why it broke. Yes, me and my brother had an argument. Listen to me, really quick. Skin. Listen to me. Listen to me. Right now, the biggest issue is I need you to get your stuff and his stuff. And go where? On the street though, sir? Dear God, you're not allowed to be here anymore. Sir, they have the right as a business to refuse service. I understand 100%, but we need our refund before I go anywhere. All right, we're not disturbing anybody. I'm quiet. I need anymore. you to go in there. We're going to close. Oh, no, we're not going to close. Stay with him, bro. Hey, don't even let him in here. Don't let him in. I need you to go over there, bro. I need you to go over there. I'll pay more money. I'll pay more money to stay here. That's not, they don't want that. That's not an option. Listen to me. To I don't know. Sir? I don't know. But right now, you guys need to go because this because is what's gonna happen. Bill? So this is what's gonna happen. You guys. How did we get kicked out because of the You can let me talk. I'm not gonna explain myself, and I'm just gonna grab your stuff and get it out. Okay. Very simple. You guys have already caused an issue here. They don't want you here. They have the right to refuse services. However, if you don't get your stuff, he's gonna right now on my camera. He's gonna tell you that you guys are both trespassed from here. Which means if you guys again don't leave, both you have to get arrested. Well, can we get a refund, sir? How does the uh, that you have to fight with them? They're not gonna refund today. The, the whole refund process is not gonna be today. That's not gonna work today. The man was able to join his girlfriend in the room after the officer determined that he wasn't going to make the situation worse. It seemed like a good idea since he was dealing with it much better than she was and explained to the officers everything that happened. Yo, sir, I just want you to know um, the um. <laughs> The, the right shower. thing, the both, shower thing. Both of the things it's not, it's not like, like, like not, there's glass um, money set or sturdy or whatever. When I tried to move it, it was, it was jammed up. I moved it again. Everything shattered. I was in the shower when the first one, when the cops came first. And they said, why is there glass where you punch it? You know? It broke on your feet. It's okay, look. It's on my head. It's on my head. No, this is where the glass broke at. On your feet, too. It's got glass all over. Alright, we'll talk about this. No, no, what I'm saying is, because I'm trying to... I just, I just want you to know, like, there wasn't no fighting in here, no none of that. The right, cops came, and he was here when the first cops came. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was being on the door or, or whatever, the, or whatever the case. And you know, and I said, just a second, just a second, and that's because my hand was already being like this. I had the towel over my hand. I had, to, I had the towel over my hand or whatever the case, you know. And then my, my feet was bleeding too. I, I didn't want them to think that I was in here trying to harm myself or that I was in here so. trying to harm her. But it, I couldn't be in here trying to harm her because she was outside, you know? I got so that's it. I but got that on nothing. camera, which is perfect. So all you got to do, like, I'll. No, it's just nothing. I'm, I'm grabbing my stuff. Like, I'm grabbing stuff. Respect that, bro. Respect okay, it. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. We're leaving, but where are you supposed to go? And how are you here? This is not right. There's no window behind the upstairs. The pair were escorted out of the hotel and told they were banned for life. It appeared as though the situation was over and in any crisis was averted. But the woman, later identified as Kayla, decided to push her luck and it cost her a night in jail. I'm not sure they worked in late. I don't think so. Right now, it's just. Play one. She, she's not usually separate. They're not forced to be trying to do it. She came back and said, I'm supposed to. And that's when they bought a game. Which is not when he bought it. Which is not. They were supposed to be separated for the night. Hey, I know you're upset and everything, but you do understand that you trespass from this hotel. You take a step in there and you're arrested. Absolutely, 100%. Alright, so let me see your ID. Let me get your ID real quick. Oh, okay. 
I need your ID. What you want it for? Because you're being, you you're, there's for? a report that's got to be done because you're well, being trespassed. Well, the report, I mean, you're going to go to jail for reason. For what? For what? I need your ID. I need your ID. So, either give me your ID. I need your ID because the report's going to be done. Okay, I'm about to leave. Make your report. Cameron Walter, Niagara Falls, New York. Give me your ID. Okay. I'm on vacation. It's my birthday today. Y'all can please go get my ID. No, I have nothing. I have nothing. I've never been arrested a day in my life. I was in the army. I've never been arrested a day in my life, bro. I'm literally a veteran. This is great. Hey, so, yeah. Yes, it's my ID. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have nothing on me. I have nothing on me. I do not want to go to jail. I'm not. I'm not on board. Most of my comments are just. Go ahead. I. I have nothing on me. I have nothing on okay. me at all. I don't even think I have a bra on right now. I have nothing on me. Go ahead. I have nothing on me. Kayla was charged with trespassing and resisting arrest, but the charges were dropped after completing a pretrial intervention program. Our next case is the story of a man who really loved his job. He loved it so much he refused to stop working, even after he was fired. Fired employee. On November 28, 2023, in New Jersey, police officers responded to a call from a warehouse manager who claimed that a man who had just been fired was not only refusing to leave the premises, he refused to stop working. When officers arrived, the man was at his post, working away like everything was normal, but he was in for a big surprise. The manager explained that the employee was fired because of his bad work ethic and that he refused to listen to any of the warehouse managers. Despite being asked to leave by the officers, the man refused to listen to them too, and violence was the only solution to the problem. He was charged with criminal trespassing and resisting arrest. Our fifth case presents a situation for law enforcement officers that they rarely have to deal with. Sleeping in an abandoned SUV. In Joliet, Illinois, on January 21, 2024, police were dispatched to a private parking lot to investigate what was believed to be an abandoned SUV. When they arrived and approached the vehicle, they got a surprise. An alcoholic man who was known to wander the streets in the area was sleeping in the vehicle, and they needed to come up with a plan to get him out without the scene turning violent. Do you think they did? The man was surprised when the officers knocked on the window of the SUV and he wasn't interested in having a conversation. The officers explained to him that he wouldn't be in any trouble if he cooperated, but he didn't believe them. Can you step out for a second? So 
Dogs, you might scroll the ball down and slide into a line of sound. Dogs, you can't hear So, he's missing, but like, here we don't know what's going on. Right? We need to use caution. We don't know what's going on. So, he's really calling out the Hey, buddy, you're not in any trouble. Just talk to us, bud. It took nearly five minutes before the officers were able to convince him to talk to them. And the only reason he did was because they bribed him with a bottle of water. That was the opening they needed to get him out of the vehicle and take him into custody. Hey, hey listen to me, buddy. Uh, I just want to talk to you. That's all. I'll give you water. Look at me. Hey, do you talk? Wa I need water. What do you need water for so I can talk to you? I haven't had water in three days. Okay, talk to me. Look at me, hey. Based on the man's mental state, the officer searched the SUV after he was secured in the back of the squad car. They expected to find drugs and maybe weapons. Valentine's Day? Is it February 14th still? Is Valentine's Day on February 14th? Will I be out of jail by February 14th? February 20th? I'd like to bring her some flowers. Okay. Well, and we'll talk more about it, man, okay? What, what am I being charged for? Right now, for trespassing and all, uh, and back to a uh, police officer because you hit him. Yeah, well, that way he turn okay, can I just go to jail? Uh -huh. We'll, we'll talk more about it, okay? We'll I'm not talking. I'd rather go to jail. The young man was charged with aggravated battery, aggravated assault, trespassing on railroad property, and resisting arrest. Up next, a rich woman decides she's entitled to a free night stay in a hotel. When she's denied, she has a complete meltdown. Rich elderly woman. On August 2nd, 2023, Officers in Fort Lauderdale, Florida were called to a Doubletree Hotel after a manager called 911 to report that one of the hotel guests was causing a disturbance after being told she had to vacate her room. According to the manager, she booked the wrong nights for her stay, and when she was made aware of it, she demanded a free night in another room, but it didn't work out the way she wanted. The officers arrived in the middle of the entitled woman's public meltdown and tried to get the full story from the general manager in between her outbursts. The more they tried to calm her down, the more irate she got, the more she insulted the officers, and they quickly lost their patience. He's so fast! Hey, wait, hey, Why are you well, yelling? Relax. Are you yelling? Because he's refusing. I'm yelling! Stop. No, don't yell at me! My brother's a cop in New York! 
So I'm the GM. Okay. I was doing a little training. I normally don't check people in, but I'm doing a little training for the best. I don't feel good. All I want to do is lay down in this. Don't let me stay One here. One second, man. No. So, don't listen don't to him. Don't you put your hands ah, on me. Back up here. Don't you. Do. You, I will go to jail. I bet you will. Go f yourself. Anyway. I don't feel good. It all started with a discrepancy on the reservation. Priceline booked her for three nights. She said it was four. Disney made a mistake. So I, I said I would bam. do it. In, and he got nasty. He didn't like my answer. And he goes, you're not allowed to stay here. You are a trespass? I just I don't wanted to leave. Good. I don't want to do more paperwork for you guys. No problem. So we could just no. get on our way. I so use my charge here for this. I don't have money. For another property. Okay. And he can go f himself and drop The first one, I asked her How do you treat anymore. people like this? And then she went off like that. So at that point, I said, you know Because I'm so upset, I just want right, to rest. We'll get her. We'll get her out here for you. She refuses to go to you. How dare him? I'm not leaving. Okay, there you go to jail. Don't cut. I got a bag back! Get you out of your mouth! I got a wad on my back! Stop! I got a wad on my back! Help me! Stop! I got a wad on my back, please! That was, that was not And strong. then you hit me? Are you out of your mind? I got a wad on my back, please! Jail, man. Why are you being bastards to me? Why? I don't think you get it. I don't function like a normal person with my yeah, body. I'm not almost there. Yeah, almost there. I'm dying in pain. Please take Come off on. the cuffs. That's not happening. You already hit me. Sir, I apologize. I'm okay. so angry. An apology does not mean you get away scot free. Can you lift up my leg? My light right leg doesn't work. You think I'm joking? I can't. I don't want to push you. You're going to have to. I don't function. After the chaos, the officers were able to sit down with the general manager and write a full report detailing exactly what happened before they arrived. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. So I believe the date was August the 2nd. I was uh, doing some training at the front office of the hotel with my front desk team um, when uh, this guest came up to check in. To be candid, I don't remember her name right off the bat right now. Um, but she came to check in. I remember that she had a reservation from the 2nd through the 5th, so she had a three-night reservation. Um, at that time, as part of the check-in process, it's customary to verify the check-in and check-out date, how many nights are staying, um, and all that. So when I was doing that, she pointed out that it wasn't a three-night stay. It was supposed to be a four-night stay. So I advised her, since it was booked through Priceline, which is a prepaid service, I wasn't allowed to change the number of nights because that would generate an additional night charge back to Priceline, which I can't authorize. So the guest has to call Priceline and sort out whatever discrepancies are there with the reservation. Um, at that point, she said that that wasn't her problem, that that was our problem, that I needed to deal with it, and that she wasn't leaving till Sunday. Um, I told her that that's not how things work, that I'll be happy to check her in for the three nights stay that she's booked for, and after she's checked in, she could call the price line from her room. She could sort out this additional night stay, and then um, we could process, you know, that additional night stay, so she could stay the four nights that she needs to. Uh, at that point, she again said that no, that that's not her problem, and she started using some curse words, um, "f this" and "f that" and "f you." I told her that, unfortunately, that's not language or behavior that we could accept at the property and I would go ahead and accept the three F words that she said but if she continued with more F words that I would not be able to check her in and she would need to find another place to stay. She didn't want the manager's account to be the only one on record so she tried to spin the story in her favor. Do you think she did? Let's see. I wanted to call Disney and straighten it out. That's all I was trying to do. You think you're happy Wait, that you you're resting a fucking old lady? Come with me. We'll do this there. Come on. That's time. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Are you happy you're resting a fucking old lady? I'm not really? happy. If you hadn't hit me and just listened, Sir, you all left. you had to do was not put your hands on me. Okay, all you had to do was leave the property, and I wouldn't have I had to put my hands on you. I was gonna leave the property. No, you were. You literally said chance. I'm not fucking leaving. That's what you said. I was talking to Disney to try to get a room. Words. It's all on body cam. I don't care. <laughs> I got hair in my mouth. 
Now I spit on your floor because I got hair in my mouth. Okay, that's fine. Criminal, sit back there anyway. Can you? I'm not a criminal. I've never been arrested in my fucking life. I'm supposed to meet people. Could you at least call and tell them I can't make it? Could you do that for me? You are you happy? You are you happy? You fucking rotten. You sir, can you do me a favor and make a phone call for me? When you get to the jail. Oh, kiss my ass in front of Macy's at high. I don't know what that means, but okay. The crazy woman was charged with trespassing. Our final case showcases the adventures of yet another entitled woman who attempted to exploit hotel workers. Not leaving the shelter. In Dayton, Ohio, on May 15, 2023, a 911 call was placed to dispatch and officers were sent to investigate a claim that a woman was trespassing on hotel property. The woman identified as Mary claimed that she only wanted to use the washroom, but there was more to the story than that, and you definitely don't want to miss it. The officers wanted to be sure how long hotel staff wanted Mary trespassed from the property, and they confirmed that a 24-hour ban would be sufficient to teach her a lesson. She accepted the decision at first, but it became clear that she was suffering from mental issues, so things weren't as they seemed. What the heck is your problem, lady? She allowed to do that? Yeah. Do you want to just trespass for the evening? Huh. Mary. Mary. We're just going to trespass her for the evening. You want us to just trespass her? You want to just trespass For 24 me. hours? Yeah. All right. What's your, what's your uh, middle name, Mary? F. What is it? F. Just F? F. Yeah. E F F. F. Okay, do you have an ID? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. You can't come back here for 24 hours. If you do so, you'll go to jail. You're off the property now. Hi, right, Mary. Hi. You're here by advice. You are now. Go. You're now trespass from here. If you go back, if you keep moving that way, you're going to go to jail. I gotta go this way. No, you, no, can't you go, go that way. They said I gotta go that way. No, please go that way. They tell me I gotta go that way. No, you gotta go that way. Alright. Mary failed to obey the officer's demands to leave the premises, and the peaceful facade was over. The situation would have to end with an arrest and she decided to make it a violent one. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. It's Turn around to right now. This is your last opportunity. It's only to go this way. This is your last opportunity. We are gonna walk all the way to the sidewalk over I'm here. Grabbing I'm grabbing your arm because you're gonna walk to the sidewalk. I have my arm. Really, that's on you. You're gonna walk on the sidewalk. You're not gonna come back at this property, okay? okay? You are a trespass from here for 24 hours. You cannot come back. If you come back, if you walk towards this way, I am going to take you to jail. Okay. This is your last opportunity. Walk that way. At this point, it might be faster just to type it. Okay. Okay. You want to type it in? Resisting an OB now. And she, she was literally she was trying everything she had to get away from him. What are you doing? You're gonna break your hand doing that. I guess we'll tighten that one up. What is up with these people wanting to slip up? She's literally still trying to walk. Yeah. Mary was charged with trespassing, obstruction, and resisting arrest.